Early diagnosis and faster medical intervention are often required to save a critically ill patient. Using advanced hemodynamic parameters, which monitor the dynamics of blood circulation, fluid status, vascular resistance, and cardiac contractility, clinicians can determine the best treatment for such critically ill patients. Getting us Pulse Contour Cardiac Output, or PICO, technology supports clinicians in making therapeutic decisions by providing a complete picture of their hemodynamic status. PICO technology is usually applicable for most severely ill intensive care patients in shock situations with hemodynamic instability, unclear volume status, and therapeutic conflicts. PICO provides a broad range of hemodynamic parameters, including the cardiac index, which is a result of the stroke volume and the heart rate, along with its determinants preload, afterload, and contractility, all measured at the patient's bedside. PICO enables an assessment of the patient's hemodynamic status to guide volume, vasopressors, and inotropes drug therapy. This technology also helps monitor volume responsiveness. It provides the quantification of pulmonary edema, a condition where excess fluids gather in a patient's lungs. Such advanced technology contributes to optimal and patient-oriented treatment. PICO technology is based on two physical principles, pulse contour analysis and Transpulmonary Thermodilution. Pulse contour analysis involves continuous analysis of the derived arterial pressure signal. In the first step, it determines the area under the systolic part of the curve, which reflects the stroke volume. By multiplying the stroke volume with the heart rate, a continuous beat-to-beat -beat cardiac index is determined. Additionally, the stroke volume variation, or SVV, is also derived by the pulse contour analysis. It is a parameter on volume responsiveness that evaluates the probability of an increase in blood flow due to fluid loading. Pulse contour analysis requires an initial calibration and frequent recalibration that is provided by the thermodilution measurement. The transpulmonary thermodilution measurement requires an injection of a defined bolus of cold saline into the central venous area. The bolus passes through the right heart, the lungs, and the left heart. The cold concentration curve, called the thermodilution curve, is detected by the arterial picocatheter. The area under the curve directly reflects the blood flow, the cardiac index. To use PICO technology, properly set up its equipment. At the patient's side, PICO requires a standard central venous catheter, or CVC, with a connected injectate temperature sensor housing, an arterial thermodilution catheter, or the PICO catheter with an integrated temperature sensor at the tip, and a connected PICO pressure monitoring kit. All of these are connected to the monitor using cables. Next, start the transpulmonary thermodilution measurement on the monitor. Use chilled normal saline as the indicator. Administer at least 15 milliliters per measurement to adults. Then attach one of the prepared syringes to the injectate sensor housing. Inject rapidly and smoothly. The cold bolus will pass through the cardiovascular system and the injected bolus induces a temperature change that will be detected by the PICO catheter, commonly placed in the femoral artery. The PICO thermodilution cardiac index will calibrate the arterial pressure curve to derive continuous cardiac index and subsequent parameters. This way, getting us PICO technology allows early goal-directed therapy by providing a complete picture of the hemodynamic situation of the patients at their bedside. It can be easily repeated whenever required.